Hey, this is Sarah with Precision Camera in Austin, Texas. Today I'm out at the beautiful Bull Creek Reserve. I have the brand new Canon EOS M50 and we're gonna take it for a test drive. The M50 comes with a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor. It has the Digic 8 processor in it, which allows for an ISO range of 100 to 2500,000. This does shoot 4K. This is something brand new that we've seen in a Canon mirrorless camera, which is pretty exciting. The only caveat is that it does shoot at a 1.6 crop, so unfortunately you're not utilizing that whole sensor. But for the beginner camera consumer that wants to shoot 4K and show that on their 4K TV, this is an awesome option. There is a new type of RAW file called the CR3. What this is, is it is a compressed full resolution RAW file rather than a downsized RAW file, like a small or medium size. It shoots up to 10 frames per second. The max shutter speed is 4,000th of a second and the slowest is 30th of a second. This camera can shoot 24 frames per second in 4K and can shoot up to 120 frames per second in HD. I love the grip that they've added to this. It's a bit different than some of their other uh, M series mirrorless cameras. The controls remind me of a Rebel. They're quite simplistic. This is truthfully going after the entry level consumer market the same way their Rebel series is. I do like how sharp the viewfinder is. It's crystal clear. It is pretty small though compared to other cameras that are on the market. So it's kind of hard for me to tell if some things are in focus. One cool feature that this does have though, which I find very useful is focus peaking. You can change the color and the intensity. So if you're uncertain about what you're focused on, that can really help. I do really love the touch screen on this camera. It's super easy to navigate the pictures that I've taken and zoom in. This lens is impressively sharp for being a little kit lens. This camera has a pretty cool variety of scene modes and special effects modes. So now we're gonna test out the 4K video. The lens is stabilized, but the body isn't. So if I hold it like this, it'll probably be pretty shaky. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna film using the viewfinder so I get a more stable shot. It gets a little out of focus, but otherwise the picture is pretty nice. Let's test out the slow-mo now. This does 120 frames per second at HD, which is 720, not 1080. One of my favorite controls on this camera and one of my favorite things on a lot of mirrorless cameras is when I put my eye up to the viewfinder, I can move my thumb around to adjust the autofocus point. I love that they put the dual pixel CMOS autofocus system in this camera. We first saw it in the 70D a few years ago and it drastically improved autofocus when you were using live view. Since this is a mirrorless camera, you're always using live view and it really, you can notice a big difference in how quickly I'm able to lock onto a subject. I don't even have to do anything and it locks on. It's actually even doing facial recognition right now. And something else that this camera does that's really cool is I can touch to take the picture. All in all, I think this is an awesome camera to the Canon mirrorless lineup. I think I speak for not only myself when I say, I think this is a good step in the direction that we wanna see Canon go. It would be really awesome to see them follow this with some sort of camera that is aimed more at the professional market. Um, or even the higher level enthusiasts. But as far as a camera that serves as a great bridge from your first camera to really learning everything you know, need to know about photography, this is such an awesome choice. It's lightweight, the menu is really easy to navigate, the controls are really simplistic, but still give you, you know, ease of use. I think Canon did a great job. I can't wait to see what comes next. Thanks so much for joining us on this adventure with the Canon M50. Hit the subscribe button for more videos to come.